Hey everyone and welcome back and today we're going to talk about this right here and this is the Wolf Tooth Valet 25. So when I got back from an overnighter just a few weeks ago I realized how awesome the Wolf Tooth Valet is because this is something I'm almost always using because I basically always bike pack with a dropper post now. So in this video I'm going to show why I love this little accessory and share with you some of the uses because well there's definitely more than one use. Let's do it. So if you like what you see in our videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that each one pops up in your feed. And if you want to help support us a little bit more, you can do that by signing up for the Bikepacking Collective. There's a variety of different benefits included in the Bikepacking Collective, including the Bikepacking Journal, which is our very own print publication. And if you're interested in checking out more about the Bikepacking Collective, there's a link provided below. Before I get into the details, I should mention that Mark from Linderettes actually created this product for Wolf Tooth Components. I've chatted with Mark before and he's always thinking outside the box and not only is he making awesome cycling accessories, but he's making van accessories now too. So if you want to check out what he's making, you can go to linderettes.com and I'll leave a link in the description below. So you might be asking yourself, what does the 25 mean in Valet 25? Well, it basically means that it takes up 25 millimeters of space on your dropper post. So essentially it takes away 25 millimeters of travel. So the Wolf Tooth Valley comes in two different sizes, 25 millimeter and 26 millimeter. These two sizes will fit most dropper posts. However, there are smaller diameter dropper posts now for those gravel bikes. And so these more than likely will not fit those. But there's a great fit list on Wolf Tooth's website if you want to reference that. The tough and lightweight valet is made out of a fatigue resistant DuPont Delrin thermoplastic. So it's stiff, but allows flex to easily snap on the dropper stanchion without actually scratching the stanchion. All right, so what are these little things made for mostly? Well, they were designed for those little saddle packs. You know, the ones that fit those tubes, a tool, perhaps a CO2. Yeah, those. So you might be asking yourself, why would you need something like this for a small little seat pack? Well, the answer is because stanchions are rather vulnerable to scratches. And once you get scratches, dirt gets in those small little scratches. And that means inside the dropper post, making them more prone to failing or just needing service. So you might be asking why not just wrap some like silicone tape or just a rubber shim around the stanchion. Um, and that's a good idea and that can work, but that main dust wiper seal at the bottom of that dropper post, if that gets damaged, well, there's just another way for dirt and grime to enter the dropper post. And the valet is designed in a way to not damage the wiper seal. The valet works for seat packs as well. After all, it's basically the exact same concept that I just mentioned, but in a much larger package. And as you can see with this product, which is the Revelate Designs Vol, it fits the valet perfectly, obviously on purpose. And while dropper specific seat packs are great because they account for clearance and this wolf tooth valet, they're not always necessary, especially folks that are taller or have larger frames. You probably can get away with buying one of these and using the seat pack that you probably already have. The Wolf Tooth Valet is a great starting point, especially if you're just looking to get into bike packing with a dropper post. So another benefit to the Valet is it helps avoid bottoming out your seat pack on your rear tire. You can move the valet down from the top position to help alleviate that, or you could even stack the designs like this. And sure, yeah, this is taking away 50 millimeters of dropper travel, but depending on some strap designs with bags, this might be the only way you can actually do it. And another benefit to the valet is say you have maybe too much dropper travel and you don't like how long it takes for the travel to rebound, or if you're racing and you have a 170 millimeter dropper because you want that drop to rebound a little bit quicker, you can add a wolf tooth valet and it will do that for you. And this is actually something that I would do on a race like the Colorado Trail Race. Instead of having a 170 millimeter dropper, I'd probably want, you know, somewhere around 125 or 150 millimeters of dropper. Because when you think about it, when you're pressing the dropper lever and waiting for the dropper to rise, you're not pedaling your bike, which means you're not going nearly as fast as you would if you were pedaling your bike. So finally, the last use of the Wolf Tooth Valet is to get out of a bad situation. This can act as a crutch when your dropper fails you. Some droppers do fail in the down position, and if that is the case, what you'll wanna do is pull your dropper upward, throw your valet all the way at the bottom, tighten down the screw of the valet. This way you can use your dropper post as, well, a rigid post, and you can pedal on home or to your closest bike shop. So the Wolf Tooth Valet 25, it's a pretty rad product. It's gonna help protect your dropper post, add a bag to your seat, adjust your dropper travel, or even get you out of a bad situation. 
and all for $24.95, I think it's worth it. So let me know, what do you think about the Wolf Tooth Valet? I know it's been around for a while, but I feel like it was time for me to talk about a product that I truly love. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, pedal further. Thank you.